Good evening, everyone. I'm Jenny Montgomery. I'm Brad Means. Thanks for joining us. As coverage you can count on begins with the community responding across social media and right here on News Channel 6 to a dangerous school fight caught on camera last week. News Channel 6's Renetta DuBose live at the <laughs> Richmond County Board of Education for us tonight where the district is responding to the incident. But some parents are wondering if that's enough. Renetta? the statement, but that's it. So we talked with parents about whether that's enough to really make a change. Shoes shouldn't be important. Shoes shouldn't be the reason you're going to spend time in jail and not get into college. A fight over shoes. This video taken at Hepsiba High School leaves some parents wondering how and why in the world a student got jumped on and it all got caught on video. Students cuss and scream and holler and Nobody can say anything to them. I don't know. I don't understand. And um, all we can do is pray. Superintendent Angela Pringle's office issued this statement after the first student was arrested. In short, saying incidents of this nature are taken very seriously by the Richmond County school system and will not be tolerated. But some parents say responding on paper isn't enough. And until the school system steps up and takes care of the problem, behavior like this is going to happen and happen more. People in the main office for the school systems, they're worried about their job. And they know if they start kicking students out, they're going to lose money from the government because their attendance is going to go down. Four arrests were made for the teenage boy body slammed for his $100 shoes. Michael Williams, Quintavious Russ, and Javarius Bates. The fourth arrest was a juvenile. Parents themselves are up in the air about whether they are to blame. 99% of it is parents. They don't spend no time with their kids. Kids stay on their little computer things. You can't say the parents because these kids are going to do what they want to do. I also spoke with several parents off camera and they stressed that Hepsiba High School isn't all bad, but there is a serious drug and gang problem that needs to be addressed soon. Live in downtown Augusta, Renetta DuBose, WJBF News Channel 6. Back to you. All right, Renetta, thank you for that.